Hi, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this wind powered car ring. So, as you can see, it's being powered by a fan I have, and um, right now it's traveling away from the wind. But what's interesting about this car is it can also travel towards the wind. Unlike a sail car, say, like if you just made a car with a sail, it can only go away from the wind. But this here uses gears and a windmill type thing, so it can travel towards the wind as well. And so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build this car here. And in this clip here you can see it without the styrofoam on it so you can see how it works. And it's fairly simple so um, it should be pretty easy. So to start off. I'm going to start with this dollar store car I got. It's advertised as a friction powered car. And it was 250 And um, it's the type of car that when you push it, the wheels keep spinning and it kind of powers itself. So I'm going to screw it open. And I'll skip through the screwing of the car for the unscrewing just because it's fairly simple. And um, this car actually has um, some lights in it that light up, but I don't need that. So I'll just take that out, unscrew everything, take out the speaker because it has a little, it makes a little bit of noise. And uh, the batteries to power that. So I just pop all that open, I cut some wires, pull the speakers out, pull the speaker out. And this part right here is um, the gearbox. So that's basically what we're going to be using. It, and it drives the wheels. And the big metal part is just the wheel. So I'll rip off the wheels for the front, and that's because I'm going to cut the front. So I'll start it off with these uh, cutters here. And then once I got the big part of it cut, because there's a thicker area to cut first, I'll just go ahead and cut it with scissors. And it snaps off pretty nicely. And we're going to use this part here for the for the part that stands in the air and uh, holds the windmill. So I get a skewer, and I found a little hole in the um, in the frame. So I punch the skewer in there. You can make your own if you need to. And then I break the skewer because it's a little long. And then I'll just glue the the front end of the car to that skewer. So that, and then when I attach it now, we have the front end of the car stands upright with the wheels. And um, we basically want it so the wheels can, can come in contact with the, um, the metal weight on the gearbox, as you can see there. And I attached um, an elastic band around the wheel, but we don't need that. I'm going to be taking it off later. And as you can see, when you turn the wheel, it turns the gearbox and spins the, the car wheels. Okay. So now I'm going to make a just a upright with a skewer and then cut it off and then you're going to have to reinforce it with some glue and maybe another one just to give it some structure. And you can see how I did it right there. And then just put an elastic band around it. You don't want it too tight and that's just to make sure there's pressure between the, um, the standing part and the gearbox that it's spinning against. Now we're cutting out the um, the stuff to capture wind, the cuts, the cups, and so I'll cut three cups in half, so we'll have six pieces total. And then I'll show you how we are going to glue them onto the skewer. So you want to glue them onto a skewer with the um, the bottom of the cups facing outwards, and have it so it'll cup the wind like so. And then we're just going to glue it down on top of the upright there and add lots of glue to it to, um, to keep it there in place. And now with the other cups, I did the exact same thing except that to cut the skewer in the middle. And I'm going to just position the cups down on top so it can catch the wind, all of them facing the same direction. 
and I skip ahead and we have the last one there and then just add lots of blue and let the let it all dry. Now I switch to a side view and I'm just making just gluing some skewers on to stick off the front of the car. And that's gonna hold the front wheels. So glue a straw. And just any wheels you can find. Um dollar store wheels, toy car wheels, that's what I use. And I just sharpened the skewer and so it just fit in the holes of the uh, wheels. And I put it through and there it goes. And then there you can see me blowing on it at first and uh, that made it go. Now the fan's on it. And um, as you can see, you can see right there how it's driving the, uh, the gearbox, which drives the wheels. Turn. So now I'm just going to add some glue to the front of this and um, I just cut out a styrofoam shape of the car. You can do it however you want as long as it doesn't touch any of the moving pieces. That's what we want to make sure. And then I just cut a couple triangle pieces out and I'm going to put those on the side just for my body of the car. And then one on the other side. And there you have it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, you can definitely check out my other videos. I have lots more coming out soon, and um, lots that I already have up with uh, lots of cool stuff like this. And um, if you want to be in the know of new stuff I'm coming out with, definitely subscribe, check out my social networks, subscribe to those, check out my website, any of that works. And um, thanks for watching.